Hey everybody, how's it going? So I've been wanting to do this video for quite some time now. Uh, so this is going to be showing the difference. We're talking about color here, not really worried about thickness and length and the hang straight test, yada, yada. We're just talking about the color differences. If you're thinking about balling on a budget and how you wanna make that work. So got three pieces here. Two of them are from Harlem Bling. This video is not sponsored, but I just want to shout them out because I personally believe and have had good experiences that they're one of the best in the business, falling on a budget. Put that back. So we have three pieces of jewelry here. One of them is solid 14 karat gold. One of them is 14 karat vermeil over sterling silver. And lastly, we have one that is 14 karat over stainless steel. Two of these pieces are from Harlem Bling. Forgive me if I said that already. One of them is from a private jewelry store. So your, your goal is to guess which one of these is, is which. The plated, the vermeil, and the solid gold. So let's go ahead and move the camera around to see the color differences. I apologize for the bad lighting. I'm gonna show a couple more of these clips when daylight comes. I was just excited. I wanted to make this video as soon as possible. So I got started now, but I'll make some, I'll go ahead and do some shots out in the sun. So right now, see if you can tell, say if you wanted to go to the club, you're gonna be indoors. You just wanna wear a little something to kinda, you know, shine a little bit, show some style, personality. So, all right, and answer is coming in. If you guessed, now, which one is the solid gold piece? If you guess which one, if you guess that this was a solid gold piece, well, you would be an idiot because this is not the solid gold one. This is the vermeil. This one is actually the solid gold. And as you can see, well, this one actually has some dime, some diamond cut. It's really uh, white gold actually in the middle there. But the, the actual gold that you're seeing, if you move the camera over here, actual gold that you're seeing, this is 14 karat. Zoom in right here. Yeah, all right, I think that's 14 karat. Yep, 14. Well, I know it's 14 karat, but I was, I was saying, and I think that's where you could see that it says 14 karat. Let's put that back to normal. So yeah. This is actual 14 karat gold, and this is the 14 karat vermeil. As you can see, they look completely identical. When I wear them in the sun, they look completely identical. We'll go ahead and slap this on the wrist. Don't pay too much attention. This is a five millimeter sterling silver. Um, yeah, and this, by the way, in case you're curious, this is six and a half millimeter. I measured it, it's about six and a half, seven millimeter. And this is an eight millimeter, it's a bit thicker, but these are both, this is 14 karat, and this is 14 karat vermeil. This hunk of junk is a 14 karat plated over stainless steel. This one, I would, honestly, I would not recommend. I would not buy this. I would, I would not wear this out. But if you are really just trying to ball on a budget or you want to take something for photos or you want to wear something for the photos and stuff, you can get by having this look like 14 karat gold, uh, maybe for videos that you just want to post or if you're wearing it in a club with lots of flashing lights and stuff like that, I would recommend this. Maybe, maybe it would look better if you got something smaller. This is an eight millimeter thick, even thicker than this. I really, maybe I'm being thrown off by the actual way that the dang thing was made. The, I don't really like the shape of it too much. I could be hating on this, but I'll tell you what, it does not look the same color as this. It's a little darker. Well, it's a lot darker. It's kind of like a bronzish almost. So yeah. And I will go ahead and reveal that this is a stainless steel 14 karat from Harlem Bling. And this is a, well, not really reveal, but 
This is the other Harlem Bling piece. This is the Verme 14 karat over sterling silver. And this is 14 karat gold um, bought from a private jewelry store. All right, everyone. So we're outside as promised. And got a, as you can see, I have a couple extra pieces of jewelry on me. So before we were working with, so see how this looks in the sun. This is the 14 karat Verme bracelet by Harlem Bling. This is 14 karat solid gold, as you can see. I know it's got the um, white gold in there, but you can kind of see still that it looks basically exactly the same. So I'll go ahead and show a couple different angles. See how it looks in the shade. Yeah, that just glistens, both of them, beautiful. This, by the way, got about a week ago. Um, haven't worn it very much yet. This, I got maybe six months ago. Been wearing it every single day, haven't taken it off. And this is the sterling silver, I guess, just for reference. And this is my Apple Watch Series 6. <laughs> just get a little, you know, more comparisons, the better. Series 6 stainless steel gold, of course. I like gold. All right, let's move on over to the neck. So here I have, this is actually, no, let's start with this one. So this is the stainless steel piece is how it looks in the sun. And this is compared to, the reason I'm wearing these, so these are both 14 karat gold plated verme pieces, 2.5 microns. Both of them bought from Harlem Bling. Very good price, falling on a budget how we like to do uh yeah 14 karat gold real gold over sterling silver and this is rope chain this is a five millimeter these are both 24 inches even though this one comes down a little bit lower if you're curious 24 inch five millimeter this is a three millimeter rope chain and yeah you can see how they use these look the gold looks a little bit different on the uh, on the rope, as you can see. I think they both look very real. I had a, a fourteen karat. I had a fourteen karat solid gold chain that I actually sold, and got a couple more verme pieces because they look exactly exactly the same. And an, another thing is, on the website they say it's supposed to last at least a few years without tarnishing or fading but if it does fade it will be from what i hear and i'll uh, make another video later if it does the gold does start to wear off then it'll just have the sterling silver shining through a little bit so this has gold and some sterling silver or not sterling silver white gold but you know it'll still be nice and shiny is the point that i'm trying to get at uh, what else did I want to say? These are glistening. I know, right? This is that sun. Okay, well, I guess, you know, I'm Ooh. talking too much. Just back up. <laughs> okay. See how it looks a little bit of distance. Ooh. But I'm showing your purple shorts. It's okay. Okay. Nice. Ooh. Ooh. Get a little bit more further. Okay. Let's see this one. 22 inch, 8 millimeter, stainless steel, 14 karat plated. This is my favorite. This is going to be my daily wear right here. 5 millimeter, 4, 24 inch. I'm 6 foot tall for reference. And then we have the 3 millimeter rope chain, 24 inch. Very nice too. All right, so I think that does a pretty good comparison of all the different colors you can hear in the shade. Let's see how they look here. <laughs> all right, everybody, let's go back inside. <laughs> but yeah, the uh, stainless steel plated I wouldn't really go for that. This is going to be a gift for someone um, who is less particular than myself, so. 
I just wanted to add really quick that the, in case I didn't make it clear enough, the 14 karat gold and the 14 karat vermeil look exactly identical. I am very confident that even professionals looking, if they see this around your neck or around your wrist, they're not going to be able be able to tell that you're wearing vermeil because it literally is 14 karat gold. It's 14 karat gold. Yes, it's vermeil. It, I think the sterling silver, since it's a shinier base metal, it keeps it nice and shiny, but no one's going to be able to tell that it's not solid gold. And why pay solid gold when you can get the same effect for a lot cheaper? That's what we're all about, ladies and gentlemen. We're just trying to make sure that we don't break the bank trying to add a little bit of style that's all so hope that helps so there you have it folks i hope that helped in your journey on your balling on a budget and until next time stay fresh stay iced out and much love goodbye